Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Beyond the Sewing Room. I'm Diane. So in my previous video, I did share some fabric that I bought recently. So I bought myself a few pieces of fabric when I visited the fabric store Annie's on Aberdale Road in Sheffield. And when I bought those pieces of fabric, a few of them were remnants. And I did say at the time that I was going to be making skirts with two of them and a pair of jeans and a top. Now, one of the pieces of fabric, when I actually opened it out, was a little bit bigger than I thought. So, a change of plan, I decided that I was going to make a pair of jeans with that one as well because I didn't want to have any waste and because I thought it was quite a bit smaller. A skirt would have included a bit of waste. I mean, I probably would have used it up on a bag in future. But, no. There was just enough to make a pair of jeans and I am so pleased with these. I have just finished them today so I thought I'd share them. I'm going to be including some photos because I've tried them on. Although I did try them on without the um, belt loops but I've stitched them on now so I'll show you them. I'll hold them up. So it's the Morgan non-stretch jeans by Closet Core. Now I have made these before but they weren't for me and I did say at the time that I'd make these again because I tried them on at the time and thought oh these are nice and I will make them and I really enjoyed the process of making these jeans so it is a good pattern. Now as it says it's a non-stretch so if you were to choose a different kind of fabric it would affect the fit of your jeans so maybe test that out before you begin. And I really love all the details on them, I've tried them on, they're a nice fit, they're a comfy fit I'm really pleased with them. So last time I did them in sort of a light blue, they were for a sample pair and these ones I've made with the green denim. So as I said I'll be popping some photographs in here, you can see them on, but I've since then added the belt loops. So now we have the belt loops on, as you can see, they've got all the traditional features of a pair of jeans with the little coin pocket here. Uh, the only difference that I've made on mine is that this pattern does have a button fly at the front and I did a button fly on the last ones that I made but personally I prefer a zip so when you're going to the toilet I don't want to be um, messing around doing up loads of buttons so if that's for you that may be something you wish to do so all you need to do really is just cut a piece big enough to cover the back of your zip so look I've got an extra piece here that covers the back of my zip and just put your zip in as normal edge to edge here and on the other side make sure that you know it laps over properly at the front but this bit with the top button will be exactly the same so it's not that much different if you wanted to change it up and you don't see the zip anyway. So I've just used a regular zip there and then I've got this lining the inside of my pockets, this jacquard lining. It's in a shade of green, a lighter shade of green than the denim. And then on the back I've added a little piece of faux leather as it says so it looks like a sort of mock label. So I'm really pleased with those. Now it's a really easy process to make these jeans because with the pattern you do get where have I put it here we are you get this lovely little instruction book so if you just go for a standard pattern you just get your most basic instructions but the instruction book just goes through everything with you step by step and I make a lot of clothes so I'm used to using the basic instructions anyway but just having something like this is really nice because it just makes it such a fun and relaxing make and if you've not made jeans before then this might be the one for you so really nice I was intending on making wide leg ones with the dark denim so I'm still going to go ahead with that because I do like the other pair that I made in a light colour so I'm still on track to make the wide leg ones and that's from a different pattern and that's not particularly a jeans pattern, it's just a, a wide leg trouser pattern, but yeah, I did use denim last time, they came out really nice. So those are the Morgans, so maybe you'd like to give these a go. Now you can make them cropped, 
or you can make them full length. I've made them full length but you can still turn them up if you wish in the summer depending on what sneakers or trainers you're wearing. Um, she's got them turned up in the image on, on the cover and I think that looks quite nice but maybe that's the crop version. But then that's up to you which ones you make. So that's my first make with my fabric and I'm really pleased with those. So hopefully they'll be getting lots of wear. Now today I'm wearing this blouse, I've not had this on since last year because it has warmed up a little bit but it's still a bit grey and wet out there. But this is a blouse from Gertie's book of Better Sewing. So I thought I'd just share this one with you today if you've not seen it before. I did do a sew along for this but I think that was over on Diane's sewing room. So that's my other channel before I moved to this one. So it's got sort of ruching here. So there's some top stitching down the shoulders and a little bit of ruching. You've got this nice keyhole. And at the back, I've got buttons all the way down the back. I'll turn around so that you can see. Stand up. And I've done odd buttons all the way down the back. Now, a little tip for you if you're making this kind of vintage blouse and it's got buttons up the back. What I tend to do when I take it on and off now is I just undo the top one and the two lower ones which are easy to reach and I leave the middle ones fastened up and then that way it's easy to get on and off because the ones right in the middle are the ones that are really tricky to do on your own. So I've made a few like this. So I made two out of this book. I made the bow tie one in a lovely floral purple fabric and I made this one with the keyhole. So there's different variations so I'll show you the book if you've not seen it before because I have shared this before. So it's Gertie's new book for better sewing. It's got some lovely patterns in. So the first one, I can just find it, which was the bow tied one. So this was the first one that I made, the bow tie one. And then there's options because you get the pattern pieces with it in a, a packet so that you can trace off. You can also, she also puts lots of different tips in there on doing bound buttonholes and different things like that. Lots of nice little details and things about vintage sewing. So you can do a Peter Pan collar if you wish. Or you could do the keyhole one and it shows you how to adapt the pattern there. And that's the one that I'm wearing today. So if you're interested in this book, I bought this one second hand online. It's got lots of nice patterns in it. I will link that in the description below in case you're interested. So I thought I'd share my other plans for the other fabric that I've got or at least two pieces of it. Can you see all my jeans making mess in the background behind me just there? <laughs> so for the black, so this was the black denim. I had thought this pattern, now I've made this one before as well, this birder one and I made this version here but with the belt. So with the D-rings on the belt and this version and it's got lots of top stitching down this one and then the belt sort of goes under a panel in the front here. So I thought for this black one I'd maybe make the other one. So that's this one here. It's slightly shorter and just a little different in the details at the front and the belt doesn't pass over and it's up to you whether you make a belt. I don't think there'll be enough for a belt anyway because that is a remnant as well. So I think I'll just make it like that. So that's the plan for that one. And I may just do black stop, top stitching rather than using the sort of jean sort of bronzy colour thread. So that's what I'm thinking for that. It might make it look uh, sort of still casual but a little smarter. So that's that one. And then for the dark, for the dark blue, this one. Can you see? Hold it a little closer. I was thinking this one. So I made this one in a light denim last time. And I did wear those a lot last year. And it is more of a trouser pattern, but as you can see, made in denim. They are like a wide leg jean. And on the pattern, there's no pocket on the back and the description. But pockets are easy enough to make. So I just added my own pockets. So I'm going to add pockets to this one. It's got them at the front, so it has those two patch ones at the front. But I'm also going to add them on the back as well. 
I'm pretty certain I'll have enough material to do that. So that's what I'm thinking for that one. And I think that'll look really nice and go with lots of different things and they will get worn quite a lot. So do let me know in the comments what you're thinking. So I have a few books on the go at the moment. I'm still reading Dior by Dior because I'm reading that a bit at a time along with other sort of fiction that I'm reading. And I've also got a little fashion book uh, by Christian Dior that I'm also like nipping in and out of. That's just full of like lots of nice little bits. So I will share those as promised when they're both finished, but I'm in no rush to get those finished because I do tend to work through a lot of fiction in the week. So I'll keep you updated on those two fashion books when I've finished reading them. Well, thank you so much for watching today. Please let me know what you think in the comments below about um, my plans and the jeans and I will be back soon. Now, next time I'm going to do a sew along with you. So it's for another one of the free patterns that I did a video about that you could print off. So stay tuned for that and I'll be back soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.